due to copyright issues with MPU Media. I edited a part of the review. If you want to see the original review, then talk shit! It Hitchcock's The Birds, if it was made by Vietnamese, taking place in the 21st century and filmed cheaply. I know it's an obvious choice, but Birdemic is a really bad movie to make fun of. So here's my spin. So we start off with some driving. Which takes up the whole opening sequence that it looks like it was made by a 12 year old who just discovered Sony Vegas. Look at my windshield. Now back to me. Now look at that windshield. Now back to me. The windshield is still not diamonds. So after that boring jazz, he heads up to a diner while strangely walking on natural. I didn't edit that. This is Rod, played by Alan Bagg. And this is Natalie, played by Whitney Moore. Sadly, not the daughter of Roger Moore. Rod gets her for a talk. Did you go to San Mateo High School? Yeah, how'd you know that? I went there too. So are you from here? She said yeah, she's from the same school you were, yeah. I was wondering if we can keep in contact. Sure, and... Here's my card. Here's mine. Thanks. Again, it was nice talking to you. So after that, he watches some news. In other news today, the population of polar bears is declining rapidly. I know your budget was small and all, but don't do record a fictional news report like that. Then Rod goes to work, but first, here's the driving scene. Business. After that shtick... What's with all the noise? Caught the big fish. Yeah? How big was the sale? One million dollars. Awesome, man! Biggest sale of my career! What, did a customer oh, bought a yes. supercomputer the size of a locker? Doesn't matter. At a one hour photo building, we see Natalie modeling for pictures for something. Then she gets promoted by Victoria's Secret. No, seriously, listen. Victoria's Secret wants you to become their cover girl model. See? How the hell does that make sense? From a one hour photo no, to Victoria's no, Secret? Wait, am I seeing a movie about birds, or is this a romance? Because the title clearly says Birdemic, Shock and Terror. It tells me that it's a horror movie about birds. It's like saying this is Racer, a movie about the life of a racing driver. But most of the movie is just him playing tennis instead of being a race driver. <sighs> anyway... Seriously? So, how's your day? My day's going well, how's yours? Great, I made a big sale today. Good, fantastic. I uh, closed a big job offer today with Victoria's Secret. Wow, congratulations. I think you'll look great in those lingerie. So he asked oh, her for dinner and she accepts it. Woo, heat's killing me. I know, man, what's with this weather? A heat wave in winter? Wait, is this movie about global warming? So Rick says that a date without sex is a date wasted. Dude, sex after the, the first date is too much. Then there's this scene where Rod tries to buy solar panels. Wow, twenty thousand dollars for a three kilowatt solar panel? Yes. Twenty thousand, huh? Is there any way we can lower the price? Dude, you have like a million bucks, and yet you bitch about the price? Good grief! Also, they can't lower the price of it. That's not how the economy works. Oh, hello, Wayne. So the two talk about their jobs and blah blah blah. Oh, look, some birds dancing. The next day, she goes to her mom's, and we see recaps the date we saw a few minutes ago. So after some double date that I don't care, or go about NCT software, for a billion dollars, and we get to this scene over and over again, but at different angles. Laziness. When are you gonna grow up, man? Chicks love cars. If you want to get into their pants, you better have a nice hot Ferrari. Is all you think of our uh, Ferraris? I mean, is Ferrari the only supercar manufacturer in the world? Because Rod got a million dollars, he founded the solar panel company and talks about some stuff that I don't care about. After that, another date. And then this musical number. Just hanging out, hanging out, hanging out with the family, having ourselves a Wait, this isn't a love song, this is a family song. So grandma starts to dancing, and grandma starts to prancing. To make sure that the fellas don't try any glass. Wait, this isn't a family song, this is an incest song. What the hell? And then they have sex. Okay, we may not, they're just making out. Suddenly, after some establishing shots.
So Rod and Nat Barricade's room and the Eagles leave. They get to some other couple's room. What you're about to see is the most incredible scene in the world. Brilliant. They escape and found some cars with dead people. But they found two kids, so it's something. How the hell did they get that PSP? I'm hungry. I've been under the car for a long time. Yeah, me too. I'm starving. So they stopped at a gas station for supplies and shit, more eagles! So they go for a picnic. Outside, where eagles can see you and attack you! They find Dr. Jones as he warns the two to stay away from the birds. So they bring him in and the doctor talks about the cause of the birds. Sir, don't you know that these birds are attacking people? Are these birds? Yes. No way, they're dead from the uh, bird flu virus. Bird flu virus? How do you know this? I just tested their blood. Then why are they attacking us? I don't know. But what I do know is global warming is causing viral diseases such as bird flu, West Nile virus, and SARS. Right, more talk about the whole global warming shtick. Next! This woman gets killed while shitting. Well done. So after that, they head to the gas station. Well, we need some gas. Well, you know, from the Eagle attack, we are short on gas, but it's $100 a gallon if you want. What? $100? That's outrageous! I know I'm a billionaire, but still, $100 a gallon? So while Ron free fills the car, Eagles come in. Escape! They stop at some cowboy guy. Can you sell me some gas for my truck? Sorry, but we need it. You can sell me some gas now. Oh, take it easy, take it easy. Uh, I got an extra tank in the back. So they give them some gas, but he gets killed. Let's get out of here! Forget the gas dang! We don't have much time to get it! I had to skip the whole trigger scene because it's just more talk about the global warming. I mean, did global warming cause the swine flu? No. Did it cause the Hurricane Katrina? Probably, but this shit about the bird flu and global warming is just really stupid. The fuel gets depleted. I told you to get that tank, but you just have to leave it like it's nothing! So they go fishing. After that, they cook. You know, unprepared fish isn't good for your health, Ron. You fail at cooking! I want happy meal more than unprepared fish. Then the birds came in. They try shooting, but the ammo is depleted. Then a flock of pigeons came in to save the day. Um, how does that make sense? So the movie ends. It's a movie that is bad, yet it received a sequel in 3D, apparently. The movie is laughable, the effects are laughable, the editing is laughable, and the acting is laughable. But hey, this guy was Ash Williams in Pokemon 2 after Birdemic. So I'll give it a one and a half shrugs out of five.